Hi guys, welcome back to another video tutorial. So in this tutorial, we'll be going over through functions. Now, just like the other videos, what we'll be doing is we'll start from the basics and then build it up from one level to the other. Now, at the end of this video tutorial, there will be some questions for you guys to try out. And I would definitely recommend to go and try those questions so that it will give you an idea if you you know, understand the topic. And I'll put the answers and the, you know, the method uh, with that as well. Right, let's get straight to the questions. So, we have two functions here f of x is 2x plus 4 and g of x is 3x squared plus 5x and what we want to find is we want to find fg of x g f of x and then fg1 now don't freak out straight away by looking at this and thinking oh my gosh what what is this it's not again it's not that it doesn't look that hard it, it looks hard but it's not hard okay and i'm going i'm going to show you how we're going to find these right now that was not meant to happen okay so let's go through the first one a f g of x okay so we're going to look at f g of x and how we're going to find f g of x now let me let me write the functions again here so you get to see how i'm going to do this so we have f of x which is equals to 2x plus 4 and then we have g of x is equals to 3x squared plus 5x now when you want to find f g of x what you need to first do is look at the second letter not the first, but the second letter. So in this case, is G. So we're looking at our G function, okay? So I'm looking at my G function, and what you want to do is you're going to take your G function and then put it inside the first function, F. So I want to take my G and then put it inside my F function. So what does that mean? That basically means is my G function is this whole thing, 3x squared plus 5x, and I'm going to take this and I'm going to just put it inside my f function, but sub it inside where I see x. So you're going to take this and you're going to put it inside this x value. So instead of writing 2x, what you're going to have is 2 times this whole thing. Does that make sense? Let me repeat that again. What you're going to do is you take your second letter, so it's your g function, and which is this bit. And you're going to sub that inside your first function, which is f here. So you're going to take your g function, and I'm going to sub it inside my f. So I'm going to take all of my g function, and wherever I see x in my f function, I'm going to sub substitute it inside there. Now let me show you how that works here. So what we have here, we have here equals. So now instead of writing, so we've got 2x plus 4, right? Now instead of writing x, what I'm going to have is I'm going to have my g function, which is 3x squared plus 5x. So instead of writing uh, x, you're going to have 3x squared plus 5x. And then you're going to close that bracket. Okay? And then you're going to have plus 4. Do you see that? So instead of writing 2x, what you're going to have is you're taking all of this and you're substituting inside of x, which is what I've done here. And now all you, so that's your fg of x, right? And now all you have to do is just expand and just do, if there's any simplification, you simplify. So 2 times 3x squared is 6x squared. And then 2 times 5x is 10x. And then you have plus 4 left over. And that's it. There's nothing you can do. You don't solve this. Remember, do not solve this. This is just simplifying. So you've just found fg of x. Okay? Now if we go to the second one, b, to find g f of x, now, let me rewrite this again. Again, you don't need to write your f function and your g function. It doesn't, this is just me writing it for explanation purposes, but you don't need to keep writing it all the time. So that's your f function. That's your g function. And your g function is 3x squared plus 5x. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to look at our second letter, which is f. So we're going to take our f function, and then we're going to put it inside our first letter, which is g. So you're going to take your f function and put it inside your g function. So you're going to take your f function and then put it inside g. What does that mean? So this time, I'm going to take my f function, which is this bit, and I'm going to sub it inside my g function inside all the x's. So I'm going to sub it inside this x squared, and I'm going to sub it inside this x here. Now how are we going to write this? Quite simple, and you, I'll show you. So now what you're going to have is you're going to have 3 bracket, but instead of writing x squared, you're going to have 2x plus 4 inside the here. So you're going to have 2x plus 4, and all of that is going to be squared. Do you guys see that? All I'm doing, again, if you're not quite sure what I'm doing, all I'm doing is I'm taking my f function, 
which is 2x plus 4, and I'm subbing it inside the x. So instead of writing x and x, I'm going to have 2x plus 4 inside here, and I'm going to have 2x plus 4 inside here, which is what I'm doing here. So then you're going to have plus 5 bracket, instead of writing x, you're going to have 2x plus 4 again. What Did you guys see that? And now what we're going to do is we're going to expand and simplify. So again, this is just a bit of basic algebra. So what this means is you're going to have 3 bracket 2x plus 4. Squared basically means you're going to times it by itself. Why did I write 3? It's not 3. So you're going to times it by itself. So it's going to be 2x plus 4 times by itself. Plus, now if we expand this, 5 times 2x is 10x. And then 5 times 4 is 20. Okay? Now if we were to... We're going to expand this bracket. You don't times it by 3 yet, but if you were to expand this bracket, I'm going to do it in one line, but you guys can, you know, you don't need to do this. So that's going to be 4x squared, 8, 8. So that's going to be 16x plus 16. And then that's plus 10x and then plus 20. So you've just exp I've just expanded this in one line. So that's 4, 8. Okay. Now what you do is you want to times everything by 3. So 3 times 4x squared is 12x squared. And then 3 times 16x is 48x. And then 3 times 16 is 48. And plus 10x plus 20. Okay. Now if we were to simplify this, 12x squared, there's no other x squared, so it's just going to be 12x squared. 48x plus 10x is 58x. And then 48 plus 20 is 68. So that is your g f of x function so the only this is just a bit of expanding and simplifying that's all you have to do but what you need to understand is in these functions is you always take the second letter and you sub it inside the first letter and as long as you get that in all you do after is just expanding and simplifying now for c i'll just write c here because it's not quite it's quite easy here c it doesn't need a lot of working out you need to find fg1 but if you look at the first question a you found fg of x so i'm just going to write first f g of x because i found that right which is 6x squared plus 10x plus 4 but the question's asking you to find f g of 1 and what that means is basically if you look here from here to here instead of x what do you see a 1 which means now instead of x's here you're going to put 1 so what you're essentially doing is you're substituting 1 inside x here because if you look now, instead of x, you have 1, which means now all these x's are going to change to 1. So how we're going to do this is we're just literally going to sub in 1 inside. So you're going to have 1 squared plus 10. And instead of x, you're going to have 1 plus 4. So if you find that, that's going to be 6 plus 10, 16. 16 plus 4, 20. And that is your fg of 1. Okay, so hopefully you've understand what's happening here and you can understand how you, you know, work out your know, composite functions and, you know, always look at the second letter and put it inside the first. And again, if you have any questions or any doubts, just put it down in the comments and I'll get back to you. And uh, now I'll get you guys uh, some questions for you guys to try out. Right, so here are some questions for you guys to try and do. So give it a go, pause the video, try these out and then play the video back again and then see if you get it right or wrong. Right, so what we're going to do here is first find fmx, right? So fmx is going to be equals to, what you're going to do is you're going to put um, the m function inside f. So you're going to take the m function, right? And you're going to put it inside, you're going to put inside the f. So you're going to take all of this and you're going to put it inside the x value. So instead of writing x, you're going to have 4x squared minus 3x minus 9. And then you're going to have minus 3. So if you simplify that, that's going to be 4x squared minus 3x. And then minus 9 minus 3 is minus 12. That is your fmx for A. Okay. Now for B, they said find fm1. Okay. And that's basically based on the first question, fmx. So if I get my fmx first. So my fmx, which is this function, 4x squared minus 3x minus 12, so 4x squared minus 3x minus 12, but I don't want fmx, I want fm1, that's what I want, so instead of x, you have 1, which means you're going to substitute 1 inside the x's, so you're going to have 1 here, you're going to have 1 here, 
and minus 12. So that's going to be 4 minus 3, which is 1. 1 minus 12 minus 11. That is your FM1. All right. Now to get C, so the C is F MFX. So MFX. What we're going to do is we're going to substitute F. We're going to put F function inside M. So we're going to take this X minus 3, and we're going to sub it inside this X and then this X. So how do we write this? So instead of writing 4x squared, we're going to have 4x minus 3 whole thing squared minus 3. And then instead of writing x, we're going to have x minus 3 again minus 9. So now what this means, x minus 3 squared basically means you're going to times x minus 3 by itself. So there's going to be x minus 3 times x minus 3. And then if you expand this, minus 3 times x is minus 3x. Minus 3 times minus 3 is plus 9. And then you have minus 9 here. Now keep the 4 here and then expand the bracket first. So you're going to have x squared minus 3x minus 3x is minus 6x plus 9. Again, I've just expanded it in one line here. Yeah, Minus 3x plus 9 minus 9 cancels out to 0. Now expand this by 4. So that's going to be 4x squared minus 24x. And then 4 times 9, 36. And then minus 3x. So now you can simplify minus 24x and minus 3x, which will be minus 27x. So minus 27x plus 36. And that is your MFX. Okay, so if you've got these answers well done, if you haven't, just make sure you go back and see where you made it. You probably made a silly mistake in terms of the minuses and plus. But if you still don't understand where you went wrong, just put it down in the comments and I will get back to you. Okay, so that will be a wrap for this video and I shall see you on the next one.